Hey guys, welcome back to the Men of Iron podcast. This is Garrett Barbush, and I'm excited about this week. We're continuing this uh, series, if you that's what you want to call it, on how to be a successful protege. Part one was last week. This is kind of part two, and we're going to be talking about being consistent today. And I was trying to kind of think through how to get to this point uh, and kind of how to stress the the emphasis or the main point of this message today. And I, I figured I'd share just a, another quick story with you. Uh, one of the greatest opportunities I was able to experience in life was was playing competitive golf in college. And it's a, an experience that I will treasure forever. And the biggest blessing I pulled away uh, from being part of a, of a golf program in college was was really the friendships. And they come. I come from an extremely close family, and, and I always tell people that in college, my teammates were the closest thing that I had to family. And I had a particular to- teammate um, it, that who was a friend that I'll forever be grateful for. And if I could summarize his golf game in one word, it would be consistency. And his biggest accomplishment was that he never missed a single tournament from his freshman year the whole way through our senior year and our team typically had an average of 12 to 14 guys in the roster but only five guys made the lineup and our fall and spring seasons were were constantly spent playing in qualifiers to see really who would be traveling on the weekends and who would be representing our university and the team would rarely ever be the same from weekend to weekend there was always one two or or maybe three new guys that were rotating in which meant that Someone was losing their spot along the way. However, this particular teammate of mine, like I said, he never lost his spot in four years. His golf game was really this definition of consistency, and it's what caused him to have a lot of success at the collegiate level. And so last week, we talked about how to be a successful protege, and it was all about having a plan, right? It was all about creating that agenda, uh, communicating with your mentor, taking the initiative, really taking ownership of the plan for your mentorship. And we talked about the protege who took initiative by creating this agenda for each meeting with his mentor. And that same protege experienced a huge amount of success because of consistency. And so he said this to me in our conversation when I called him, he said, not only do I create an agenda, but my mentor and I know when and where we're meeting for the rest of the year. We meet at the same place on the same day and at the same time. There's no guessing. We just know. And as I had that conversation with that protege over the phone a couple of years ago, I kind of sat on the other end of the line really in amazement because that protege went on to explain how he and his mentor met at his office every other Friday morning at 5 a.m. They both had families, they both had full-time jobs, but neither of them were busy at 5 a.m. was the message that I got from him. And it was a time and a place that worked for both of them, and it was on the calendar, on both of their calendars for the rest of the year. So creating an agenda helped this protege particularly understand what he wanted, and it put a plan in place for him to accomplish the objectives that God really had birthed in him. However, it was having consistency that proved what kind of price he was willing to pay to get to where he felt like God wanted him to be. And so this protege and his mentor would roll out of bed at 4, 4.15 in the morning with a purpose. They both had 5 a.m. penciled in their calendars every other Friday. There was an agenda with a purpose and a plan for each of these meetings. You see, guys, this is the definition of consistency. So whether you're on the golf course <laughs> or part of a mentorship, we need to be striving for consistency in our lives. And so my challenge to us this week is to evaluate your own relationship with a mentor or a protege. Is the characteristic of consistency evident in your journey together? Wrestle with that this week, and we'll talk to you guys next time.